Oh, your favourite bet at Tote Pool is the next one then. This is the final race of the day. A mile and six furlongs. I'm still trying to get over the fact that we just had two runners in a three-year-old mile race on Guineas weekend when we had 18 on in the 2000 Guineas. Surely half a dozen of them had no chance of winning the Guineas and would have been better off in that. But anyway, Red Rover, Padre Hogan at the top. Shipton George for Shipton. Shipton Gorge even for Darren Thompson. Still game Alex Cherry. Eternity Crystal Grand. Because of Backpatch Stu Gray. Ballerina Queen Martin. Lirum, Jack Cherry Stu Gray. And Ice Coral and Orchestra for Obi-Wan. All installed and ready to go. And... Away we go, and it's going to be the first to show. Looks like Eternity Crystal in the second string ground. Clutter, what colours might be one who's going to take them wrong. Obi Wan, though, has usually got designs on the lead, and Ice Coral has indeed burst through on the rail to take over that leading position and quickly go two or three clear of Eternity Crystal in second. In the first of the Grays is Stu Gray's Jack Cherry. The yellow jacket of Red Rover is inside and his stable companion Patch Patch on his outside. Ballerina Queen, the second Grey, has got the inside berth. Then still game in the orange sleeves. And then the second Obi-Wan Horse Orchestra in the yellow. And the back marker is Shipton Gorge for Darren Thompson. So they begin to swing right-handed then now. With a mile and a quarter still to go. And Ice Coral is a good four lengths clear of Patch Patch on the outside of Red Rover and Eternity Crystal has just dropped back a bit Ballerina Queen on the rail Jack Cherry the second grey is in mid division and then Still Game Orchestra and finally widest on the track Shipton Gorge is just a back marker they're racing down their net towards the mile point in this and Ice Coral is in the lead from Red Rover second Patch Patch third and Ballerina Queen and Eternity Crystal, then Jack Cherry, and Still Game, Shipton George, and Orchestra. So the order not changing that much, and Ice Coral quite happy to bowl along in the lead with seven furlongs to go. Oh, Red Rover is now clear second, Patch Patch is third, Ballerina Queen getting a bit closer on the inside, now being driven up to maybe come and join the leader. And it's Ice Coral is that leader with six furlongs to go. The Grey Ballerina Queen moves into a challenging position on the outside. Patch Patch and Jack Cherry, the two Stu Grey horses are coming together. Eternity Crystal is still there. Red Rover is now coming through with a run wide open. This one still game and Shipton Gorge trying to run on Orchestra out the back. But now Ballerina Queen and Ice Coral having a ding-dong battle for the lead as they make this swinging turn into the straight. And it's Ice Coral on the inside just regaining the lead from Ballerina Queen to Grey in second. Then Red Rover, Patch Patch and Jack Cherry, Eternity Crystal seems to be going really well between them as Ballerina Queen now gets into the lead. Ballerina Queen in front, but there's still three furlongs to go. And Ice Coral battles back and Ice Coral regains the lead. It's Ice Coral from Ballerina Queen in second. Patch Patch in third. Then Red Rover and Jack Cherry still game is starting to run on. Then on the outside comes Shipton Gorge, but now Ballerina Queen's hit the front and immediately collared by Patch Patch. It's Ballerina Queen racing down towards the final furlong. Ballerina Queen in the lead from Patch Patch and Red Rover in still game. Shipton George is getting closer. Ballerina Queen's beginning to tie up. Patch Patch is hitting the front. Red Rover, Shipton Gorge is just Patch Patch. Ballerina Queen's trying to fight back. It's Patch Patch from Shipton Gorge. And Red Rover and Patch Patch, he's got to take it. Patch Patch wins it for Stu Gray. I don't know if that's his first winner of the season. I think, pretty sure it's the first one I've called. And Patch Patch has taken it. The final race on day two from Shipton Gorge and Ballerina Queen. I don't know what happened to Eternity Crystal. That looks to be going really well and then dropped really tamely away. In those second string ground clutterbook colours, but Patch Patch takes it for Stu Gray, Shipton Gorge for Darren Thompson was second, Ballerina Queen for Martin Lidham third, Red Rover for Padre Hogan was fourth. That was the top weight that kept most of them out of the handicap, and still game for Alex Cherry was fifth.